If your games keep stuttering and you get low FPS or FPS drops on your PC or laptop, this video is the one for you. I'm gonna show you how to boost FPS, fix stutters and FPS drops by using a free Windows optimizer to optimize your Windows PC without any BS. So let's get right into it. So go down into the description and download the Sparkle installer. Then right click on it and run it as admin. Then the installation shall begin and we're gonna be installing it as we install any other software. Once the installation is done, it's gonna automatically launch and give you these options. Close out of this and go ahead and create a system restore point. This is highly recommended so simply click on it and then it's gonna go ahead and create a system restore point automatically. Alright the restore point has been created and now we can move on to using this software. On the dashboard we have all of our system specs and then we can move on to the tweaks tab for optimizing the windows. As you can see there are different categories of tweaks that we can apply but we're gonna be keeping it to all and then applying every single one that is recommended or safe to use. First one is debloat windows removes unnecessary windows features and apps and it is recommended so i'm gonna hit and apply it is recommended to create a backup before applying this tweak so i'm gonna click on apply and then it's gonna go ahead and remove a lot of the apps and features as you can see so basically it's gonna go ahead and just use the powershell in order to run the script and it's going to remove all of these apps that are built into the windows such as bing news port travel and all of that junk that is preloaded by microsoft all right now that the windows is debloated we can move on to the ultimate performance power plan it's going to enable and applies the windows ultimate performance power plan for better performance so we're gonna turn this on and i assume that it's gonna go ahead and apply it automatically then align the taskbar to the left is a windows 11 feature so we don't really need it detailed bsod this one is a quality of life improvement and it adds detailed information to the blue screen of death so it's really not important for the performance purposes then disable background ms store apps we're gonna go ahead and enable this one and it's going to disable the microsoft store apps from running in the background which should help free up some resources then disable copilot will remove microsoft copilot features and it will fail if it is not installed so i'm just gonna go ahead and disable it disable core isolation it disables the core isolation memory integrity to improve system performance now if you don't know i have always recommended to use this tweak so it's really good to see this one here disable defender rtp or real-time protection now this one is a bit risky so those of you who do not surf the internet safely i don't recommend using this one but for those of you who know what they are doing simply go ahead and disable the real-time protection Disable dynamic ticking, improves the system responsiveness and reduces latency by disabling dynamic timer ticks. And if I hover over this, it may increase power consumption. So for laptop users, the one that may increase power consumption, I don't really recommend those unless your laptop is powerful enough or of course you have it plugged in. But since I'm on a desktop PC, I'm gonna go ahead and enable this. Disable fast startup, it will disable Windows fast startup to improve the system stability. Those of you who don't know, what this will do is basically make sure that all of the services are running before actually launching you into the window so your boot time may increase a bit but the overall system stability and performance will of course improve disable game bar is self-explanatory disable hibernation is of course really self-explanatory then we have the disable location tracking which disables windows location tracking this one is good for privacy as well disable lock screen tips of course disable mouse acceleration this one is really good if you are playing fps games and you don't want the acceleration because that can really mess up with your aim so i highly recommend you to disable this and then go ahead and hit apply. Disable Wi-Fi Sense. It disables Wi-Fi Sense to prevent sharing of Wi-Fi networks with contacts. For me this doesn't really make any difference so I'm gonna go ahead and disable it. Enable Dark Mode will of course enable Dark Mode but since we already have it on I'm not gonna need it. Enable End Task with right click. You can add the End Task option to the context menu. Another one of quality of life improvements. Not really anything to do with performance. Enable HPET or High Precision Event Timer. It's going to enable HPET instead of disabling it and it says it can reduce stuttering and improve timing accuracy on some hardware however keep in mind that this may have the opposite effect on some other hardware so for this one you will definitely have to test it out for yourself whether disabling it or enabling it works better in my case i'm gonna go ahead and leave it disabled optimize network settings changes various windows settings to improve network latency and speeds so after using this i'll be really curious to see how it impacts my ping inside of fortnite especially optimize nvidia settings since i have an amd card i'm gonna go ahead and skip this one but those of you with an nvidia card can and go ahead and apply this one and i'm actually surprised to not see any amd tweaks which is kind of a bummer then there is the remove gaming apps it's going to remove xbox app xbox game bar and xbox game overlay now i do play a few games that do require this so i'm gonna keep it in but otherwise for you guys go ahead and hit on apply and it's going to remove these remove onedrive i highly recommend you to remove onedrive and i already have it removed so enabling this will do nothing for me but i'm still gonna do it for the sake of the video revert context menu is just going to go ahead and revert this context
text menu back to default as it is but since I haven't added anything to it I don't really need it. Run disk cleanup. I will go ahead and clean up the C drive so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and it should run the disk cleanup utility as you can see. So it automatically selected and deleted a lot of the stuff using the windows disk cleanup utility and now it has successfully resolved the low disk space condition. Next up is setting services to manual. Set various windows services to manual startup type to improve the windows performance. So I'm assuming it's only going to set those which are really safe to set to manual as to avoid breaking anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and then just trust it to not break anything. And that's basically it for all of these tweaks. Now we can move on to the cleaner. However, in my opinion, this one tab is completely useless because if I go back to tweaks, you can remember that we use the run disk cleanup utility, which basically does all of this from just one place. So having this is really not useful at all in my opinion. Then we can move on to restore points and this is the restore point that we just made before using this utility. We can go ahead and use it right here in order to revert all of these tweaks and changes. Then let's move on to utilities. So we have the run system file checker which I assume it's going to run the check disks utility from the CMD, the DISM health restore, then there is also the run disk check so all of these are the commands that are run inside of CMD in order to make sure that your windows files and the disks are completely healthy and there is nothing corrupted inside of them. These can take some time so we're gonna be skipping them for the video but you can go ahead and run these whenever you want. Then there is the run show power plan so we're gonna click on it, click on run and it shows nothing. I have no idea why. There's also the run reset IP stack, the run reset win sock, run flash DNS cache and the disk cleanup utility once again for some reason. Then there are some quick access options such as opening up the registry, the task manager, system information, device manager and all of that good stuff. Then there are apps. So these are I believe all of the apps that we can download and install from within this software which is actually a pretty handy feature if you are going to be installing your windows from scratch. You can go ahead and select any app that you want and then go ahead and simply click on install selected and it should download and install those apps onto your PC. And looking at this selection, the app selection is actually quite good as well. You can find pretty much all of the apps that you will be needing in order to set up a new windows. Finally, let's move on to settings. We have got the theme and yeah. We have also got the discord rate preference, show your sparkle activity on discord which we can disable. We have also got the analytics which requires a restart. We got the data management and logs and that's all basically it. Now we can go ahead and click on restart now to restart this but we can go ahead and close out of this, restart our PC and then enjoy the improved performance. Let's move on to the benchmarks. So in Fortnite the average FPS went from 166 to just around 200 which is quite a bit of improvement while the 1% lows went from 110 to around 143 which once again is an improvement that I'm happy about. Moving on to Valorant the average FPS went from 216 to above 300 which is like a 90 FPS improvement on average which is huge and also the 1% lows were improved by a lot too going from 140s to over 180s which is quite impressive in my opinion and you should definitely be using this if you're gonna play Valorant. But where do I put this considering all of these other optimizers? Based on the improvement that we got in Valorant as well as Fortnite, I'm gonna be putting the Sparkle Free Optimizer in the very good tier. And it's our very first one in the very good tier as well. Because not only did it improve our average FPS, it also gave us a huge boost in the 1% lows which are crucial to fix stutters and FPS drops. So I would highly recommend that all of you go ahead and give this a shot. But if you want to optimize your Windows PC even further and for completely free, then go ahead and check out this video right now.